So let's talk a little bit about multiple sclerosis, which is an intractable disease. And the guy who really did a lot of research, I think we're all sort of walking in his shoes, those of us who are helping MS patients, was Dr. Roy Swank. Um, and he did a lot of observation and research to arrive at the conclusion that the problem with multiple sclerosis patients was high fat, high animal food. So he conducted his initial trial on 144 patients and he followed them for 34 years. Um, and, and by the way, you know, I talked a little bit about Esselstyn following his patients for 30 years. Here you've got Swank for 34 years. And so people bring me data, uh, some of it kind of questionable. You know, they, they did a diet trial showing the people on the paleo diet were doing great at 60 days. And I tell them, well, come back in 34 years. All right? I'm interested in seeing what happens then. Um, but patients were placed on a low saturated fat diet. They were to eat only one to 15 grams a day, and that's a whole lot more than what we're giving MS patients now, but at the time, that was, that was pretty radical. And what happened is the progression of MS was reduced or stopped by the low saturated fat diet, and it was even effective for patients who had advanced MS disease. And so here is the result. In the first year, there was a 70% 70 70 reduction in what's called exacerbations. These are MS flares. 5% per year after that, 95% total, and it remained that way for a total of 16 years. Swank reported that about 1 in 500 patients did not respond to dietary change. That means that 499 out of 500 patients, let's phrase it differently, are going to get better eating a whole foods, low-fat, plant-based diet. The odds are not that good for medication. I'll talk about that in a second. So here were his findings. 95% of the patients consuming a low-saturated fat diet remained uh, normal or, nearly, or mildly disabled at the end of 35, or 30 years. Only 5% of those patients died. 80% of the patients consuming the saturated, high saturated fat uh, diet died. 80% died in the high fat diet. Okay, so if you're an MS patient looking at this, what are you gonna do? The results of the drugs are just awful. Um, Dr. Swank published a lot of articles in medical journals and other researchers have, um, have duplicated this work. One thing I wanna let you know about that's kind of interesting, there is a thing that went on in England called the scheme. The National Health Service in the United Kingdom has had money problems for years. Um, sooner or later, you run out of money to treat all the sick people. And they noticed something interesting, which was that multiple sclerosis patients who declined medications seemed to be doing better than the ones that were medicated. So they went to the drug companies and they said, um, we'd like to propose paying you based on the efficacy rates of your drugs. And um, you know, you can be a little arrogant sometimes and arrogance leads you to le make very stupid decisions. So the drug companies agreed to do this. It was called the scheme. So what happened is that um, patients were, um, were, some patients continued to say no to drugs and some patients were medicated with the drugs. And um, at the end of a certain period of time, they looked at it and what had happened was the patients taking the drugs were far worse off than the ones who didn't. Now these people weren't put on Swank's diet or McDougall's diet. These people were just sent home to live their life probably eating terribly, and they were still better off than the patients taking the drugs. So the National Health Service said, I think that you owe us money because now we, we have these very much sicker people we got to take care of. So not only did the drugs not help, but they made it worse and you should pay. Well, the drug companies didn't like that. So this huge brouhaha started. Lots of articles published in the British Medical Journal. And in one of the most striking things I've ever read in my life, it just, it, I mean, you'd laugh out loud if this topic wasn't so serious. Um, and I remember the last sentence of this article, they're talking about this whole thing and the head of the committee that started this said in the British Medical Journal, perhaps outcomes-based schemes should be avoided in the future. Okay, so when we take a look at what's going on, it's a big problem, so we should put our heads in the sand and keep medicating people because that's better. I mean, you know, it can make you crazy.